What's crack a lacking, YouTube? This is the story of how I got to pick the attic of an antique store for some vintage t-shirts. It all started last week. I wanted to go on a thrifting adventure because I'm sick and tired of sitting at home and my thrift stores here are opened, but they... So me and a buddy said we're gonna make a day trip out of it. We're gonna go to the city, hit a couple thrift stores and you know, do our thing. So we drive to the city. First thrift store we go in, bus. Second thrift store we go in, bus. Nothing, nada. Third thrift store we go in, I found three little t-shirts, a little Harley joint, Maui, Hawaii. This is from 2009, so not the oldest, but some vibrant colors on there. You gotta pick it up. And then they also had a little Polo Ralph Lauren, a Polo Jeans Co, like script spell out. I really like the P on this. It's roomy. So for another $3, I said, hey, what the heck, I'll pick this up too. And then right next to the Polo Jeans was actually a couple Hilfiger uh, t-shirts. They were all $3 again but uh i only picked up this one because it was embroidered spell out they were all very basic t-shirts hill figures taking a tank in the market uh, but i still really liked this one and if it doesn't sell i can just you know wear it a couple times and my hopes for the day had kind of tanked at this point because the three first thrift stores i hit up were usually the good thrift stores that's the way it goes sometimes if you're a thrifter you obviously you're gonna know about this and my friend a buddy old pal, he was kind of fed up with thrifting at that point, not finding anything can really tank your momentum. And he's like, yo, let's go for the rest of the day. Let's just hit up like antique stores. Let's look for maybe something besides furniture, some like old vintage or antique. And I love history. I love all the old crap. So I was like, all right, let's go. And on the way to the first antique store, actually we drove by a mom and pop thrift shop that I've never been in before. And for a dollar fifty, I picked up this House of Blue t-shirt. House of Blues is not a very desirable vintage t-shirt. Um, however, it was only $1.50. I'm not gonna leave it behind. But even if I sell for 15 bucks, imagine turning every $1.50 you have into 15 bucks. I'd be about 15 bucks richer. Uh, and they also had this Rush Limbaugh graphic t-shirt for $1.50 as well. So again, I just couldn't leave it behind. And by the way, if you know Rush Limbaugh, then like you gotta pick up the t-shirt, but okay. Now this is where it gets good. It was the first antique store we went into. Some crazy antiques. They had a little, I asked about this like mid-century modern shelving unit that was all wavy, made of wood and iron rods. 2,400 bucks he wanted for it. 2,400 bucks. He had crazy stuff, like American picker type of stuff. Actually probably cooler than the American pickers. But anyway, he took a phone call. He's like, boys, I gotta go. I gotta take this. So he locked up the shop. We were talking to him for a second. And he's like, you know what? I actually own the shop across the street. Go check that one out. It will remain open. And boy, oh boy. Turned out it was just an uh, antique store for clothing. <laughs> so uh, I was loving it. Now they did mainly women's clothing and stuff, but right inside of the door was two racks of men's clothing and I sifted through it for a while and just found this one t-shirt that I wanted for myself. I couldn't pass up the graphics. I've heard of Soulfly before, but I've never listened to like their music, but this graphic just spoke to me. I love the colors on it. Had to pick it up. I listened to one song by them. It hurt my head, dude, it gave me a headache. But then I was talking to the manager about like vintage t-shirts and then she told me all vintage t-shirts were 50% off. So I went back to the rack. They had a not so good collection to choose from, but I did pick up this 98 Aerosmith t-shirt on the giant tag. Um, this was honestly probably one of the better t-shirts they had in the store. And for 50% off, I think I ended up buying this for 12 bucks. It is what it is. Not bad, not bad. And then here's where things start to get spicy. So as I was paying, I started talking to this lady about how I, I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm into history, vintage, antiques. I love all that kind of stuff. And she's like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, did you check out the other store? Blah, 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 blah. We were talking for like half an hour. And then I told her that I collect vintage clothing. And I'm super excited. Thanks for the 50% off deal. And I'm like shaking her hand, bumping elbows, trying to get out of there because of the virus. And she's like, hey, do you want to go up to the attic? 
And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I want to go up to the attic. And so we, well, she takes us around the corner. She moves a rack out of the way and opens up a staircase. We march up there um, and it's just all basically their back stock and their winter stuff. She's like, have at it, boys. And I was going to film up there, take a little video and whatnot. I did snag a picture. Uh, but I did not want to like, you know, intrude on my welcome or overstay my welcome. I didn't want to like take advantage of them because she was giving me the opportunity to go up in the attic. Thank you, so generous of you. Found a couple things when I was up there. I'm gonna say probably like 95% honestly of the stuff in the attic was winter stuff or costumes because they also like rented out costumes. So they just had like one, like half a rack of vintage t-shirts and I basically bought them all. So we had a World Cup, Italy. I'm also a soccer coach, so I was loving finding the soccer stuff. So then I found this grailer all over print Germany. Unfortunately, it does not wrap around to the back, but what a cool t-shirt. And then they had this one, which I thought was super cool. They did a mini World Cup in Des Moines, Iowa, which is the city I was in. It was sponsored by Diodora. So those ones were cool. Then we found an old school Mickey. This one, I wasn't gonna buy this one, but then I was like, you know what? It says Walt Disney World rather than just the Mickey Mouse. So I picked this one up too. And a Jim Beam racing one. I thought this one was so cool. It turns out this one's only worth like 15 bucks, but man, the simplicity to this is just amazing. Um, and then the last t-shirt that I grabbed was this 2010 Metallica t-shirt. Um, not vintage, still super cool graphics on this. And everybody loves a Metallica tee. So that was it. I walked down the steps. I was like, are these all half off too? She's like, you know what, darling, you can have them half off. So yeah, she was really hooking it up. I appreciate them. I got the dude's business card. I'm going to go pick through some of his actual antiques, maybe here in the future. Um, it's good to make connections. It was a place I had never been to. It was amazing. Oh. And on the way home, I did stop at one garage sale. I got an old Corona um, hat for a buck and this Polo Sport fleece for a buck. So it turned out to be not too bad of a day. I actually really enjoyed going to the antique stuff and you know picking through that kind of stuff. That's my favorite type of pick. So, so that's my little video now. I know I've been slacking on the videos, but I'm back, baby, ready to attack, baby. Right. And thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please subscribe. Get me to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. And buy vintage. I'll see y'all on the next one.